Hi, I'm Chef Raphael. I have a question. Does it ever bother you whenever you're trying to warm your food in a microwave? Sometimes it's too cold on the bottom or it's not hot enough or maybe it's too hot? Well, this video is about to show you exactly what happens when you're doing your heating food in a microwave. I'll start you off with your nice meal that you probably made yesterday, left it in the fridge and you want to have it today. What I have here is basically nyama choma and ugali. I'll, I'll put the salad later because I'll be having it with a salad. But let's deal with the problem at hand. You have your nice piece of meat, you have your cold ugali, and you want to heat it up. So what I'll say, what I usually tell people is, what I usually do and tell and advise people is, I actually use a clean film and cover the food. But when covering, leave some breathing space on the side. You actually don't make it too tight. And if you have to make it tight, you actually poke holes into it. The other way is by investing in something like this. They, they actually microwave cover, they find them in a supermarket. Whereby you, the best thing about it, you only need to place it and it's reusable and it also has a hole. You just make sure that now it's closed. You actually make sure that you make sure the holes are open when you're closing it. And the idea is to again to let the steam out. The whole idea about covering is you want the steam to be generated inside the food. Because the way the microwave works it actually heats the food from inside to outside. And especially when you have rice, that's a, another problem spot. When you're reheating rice, you find your rice is uh, dry on the sides. One thing I would say about rice is take a few drops, a tablespoon of water, and place it on top of the rice. And that is the water that actually will be used to steam the, 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 the rice. And if the food has liquid, don't worry about it. At least that liquid is the one that will actually be used to generate the heat required to heat the food in the microwave. So it's covered. If you're using a clean film, make sure again you have holes in it so that it doesn't it actually breathes. Then Now the next problem that you have is how long do you actually uh, set for this amount of food? What I would say is use, uh, practice it. If is this the usual amount of food that you usually heat up? If today you used one minute and forty seconds, just keep a note, mental note of that, and tomorrow when you're having to do it again, use it one for one minute forty seconds. That is if actually it worked for you today. So we'll actually use one minute 40 seconds and then press the start button and then wait for it to get hot. Now, when you're using a clean film, it's also good to notice that when you cover it and don't poke any holes or leave any room to, to breathe, what will happen is that the, the, the steam will be created inside the, um, the plate and it will actually balloon the clean film. I can actually hear my popping, my meat popping. So what I'll do, I just stop, open. It's actually sizzling. And the other way of looking at finding out if it's hot enough is feel the bottom of the plate. If it's actually hot, like it is right now, that means it actually has been heated up. And when I open, you notice the st steam coming out. And when you place your hand, it's actually very hot. So we had set it for one minute, 40 seconds. We've actually still have 22 seconds. That means one minute, 20 seconds to hit this amount of food. That is the mental note that I'm talking about. Tomorrow, do the same thing. And the more you keep on remind, remembering how long it took, the better you get at knowing how much time to heat your food in the microwave. And that's how to microwave your food using a microwave. Thank you.